Welcome back. We've caught this uh, crazy dude. It's your buddy, Mr. Looney Tunes. And we should get him to jail. Unlike in the other games, the jail's actually at the police station this time, so we just need to drive back to the station. Which is on 6th Street between Peach and Rose. So, we need to go there. Start our engine. And turn on the tracker so we can see where we are. And let's um, hurry a little bit. He's going a hundred miles an hour. Set a good example as a police officer. Right. This crazy dude is getting my upholstery wet. Okay, next is 6th Street, so I'd better slow down so I don't miss the turn. If I can go this entire Let's Play without missing a turn, I'll eat my hat. Not that I have a hat, but I'll get a hat and then eat it. Again, this is sort of copy protection because you'll uh, need the manual to know where everything is. Because it has an app in it, much like uh, in the first game. Wow, that was not a lot of time passed since we got to Cotton Cove. Um, Anyway, let's book this dude. And the, uh, the, the jail is actually through here. The automatic doors lead to prisoner booking and the jail. Of course, we need to drop our gun in the locker before we go inside like in every Police Coast game, and like, I suppose, in real life. You open the locker. You put your gun in the locker, lock the door, and take the key. Okay. Come on, this way. Behind the protective glass is Officer Smith, the booking officer. Let's talk to him. Finish up and hand them over, Bonds. Okay, hello to you too. What we need to do is hand over the uh, evidence, um, the stuff he was carrying, basically. And then book him. So we need to hand over the driver's license. You put the suspect's driver's license in the drawer. And the knife. You put the suspect's knife into the drawer. You mean to tell me you fished it out of this guy's shorts? You've got some guts, Bonds. And then we simply need to click on this door to book him. So, what are we booking this fine upstanding citizen on anyway? And we have to give a violation code. And of course, this is more copy protection stuff, which is listed in the manual. And we need to book this guy for uh, violation code 05150, which is not in full control of faculties. I'm returning your cuffs here through the drop box. Don't forget them. Say, Bonds, Officer Morales is requesting a supervisor for a refusal to sign. She's waiting out on the freeway near the 7th Avenue on-ramp. 
do you take your handcuffs? Morils, that's um, the cop we uh, interviewed about the complaint, and now she ha has a refusal to sign. Something tells me that's going to be her own fault. I guess we'd better go deal with it, though. Let's take our gun. You unlock the locker. Take your gun. You close the locker. That's not necessary, but I like doing it anyway. Well, let's, hover, let's head over to Morales and see what she's dealing with. And it's suddenly an hour later. These times are sometimes a bit wonky and we'll even travel backwards in time several times. Okay. And she's waiting near the 7th Avenue on-ramp on the freeway. Which means we have to get onto uh, 7th Avenue and then take the on-ramp onto the freeway. To get to her, 7th is the next left here. Well, procedures for refusal to sign are listed in the manual, and it says that in case somebody is refusing to sign, you have to call for a supervisor, which is what Morales did here. And we're gonna have to decide what to do. Do we take them to jail? Or something else? Depends on the situation. It's gonna be our call. Well, the on-ramp uh, should be here. 41 East, next right. There we go. And we just keep driving here until we automatically stop where Morales is. Up ahead you see a black and white pulled off the freeway along with the detained vehicle. You slow down and pull to the side. There we go. Now, one thing is very, very important in this game. It's just never, ever walk on this side of a car. Because <laughs> you will get run over. If you want to get to the driver's side of a car, you have to walk around the front. First, however, we should talk to Morales. Oh, we should look at the plate, actually, I think. The plate reads 83756. Let's talk to Morales. Okay, boss man, you handle it. Why is the violator refusing to sign the ticket? Who knows? Jeez! First I got this stupid cow, now I have to deal with you, too! You know, Morales, this policy about calling a supervisor affiliate of science sucks! Look, I don't need you. I'm taking her downtown. No, you're not. You're gonna stand right, there, right here until I have a chance to talk to the violator. You know, Morales, I'm really beginning to dislike you. And the game has just started. Okay, let's talk to the perpetrator here. Looking at the young lady, you see, that you see that she's pregnant and nearly full term. You introduce yourself to the woman and say... Your signature on the citation is not an admission of guilt, ma'am. Only a promise to, to appear. I don't care! You think I'm afraid to first sign a stupid ticket? If it was a check for $10,000, I wouldn't sign it for that stupid cow. I can't believe the LPD would allow someone like her to patrol our streets. What a waste of our tax money! She's rude, abusive, and insulting. I refuse to sign a ticket for anyone who calls me fat girl. Would you please reconsider and sign the citation? Hell no! Take me to jail! What should I do with this lady, you think? Well... 
Um, let's talk to Morales again, as it seems like the refusal to sign is entirely due to Morales' own fault. However, we'll talk to her uh, in the next video.